A building block is anything you can select within your document that you want to save a copy of and insert later as many times as you want in this or another document with a single click. So for example, I've got my product image, the title, and the URL that I want to include together in this or other documents. So instead of recreating this group of items every single time, you know, like inserting the image and then creating the word art and then typing in the URL, or once you have it, instead of selecting it and copying it and pasting it on page 2, 5, 20, or to other documents, I can do it once, meaning that I create it by selecting these individual items all at once, or blocks of items, as it were, and save it into one block that I can then later insert over and over again with a single click. Now before I go ahead and just select them and save it as a building block, I want to know what I'm selecting. And I can do that by coming up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group and turning on the codes. And you can see I've got a paragraph, an empty line above it, well the product image, the title, and the URL, and two empty paragraphs below. So if I click and drag and I select the empty lines, the three paragraphs, including, well, the three items here, and I save it as a building block, when I insert that, well, it'll also include and insert an extra paragraph above the selection down below and two after. And if I'm like, no, I don't want to do that, I just want specifically no extra lines, just the content right here, well, then go ahead and click off, and then hover over in the left hand margin until you can see the pointer turning inwards or right to the document and then click and hold down your left mouse button and drag so we can get right there everything but not the paragraph above and the two below cool then once we have it selected we can go ahead and save it as a building block by coming up here and clicking on the insert tab I know it's kinda kooky isn't it you think it wouldn't be inserting something to save it but stay with me we want to come over here to the text group and it's right there. You can see when I hover over it, it says Explore Quick Parts. Insert preformatted text, auto text, document properties, and fields anywhere in the document. To reuse content in the document, select it and save it to the Quick Parts Gallery. Tell me more. Well, I'll tell you more. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow. And with everything selected, we can go ahead and save it to the Quick Parts Gallery as a building block. And then after you save it as a building block, you can organize it. Let's go ahead and save it as a building block to the Quick Part Gallery. And the Quick Part Gallery is going to be what you see here. In other words, a gallery is something that we talked about in a couple earlier training videos, like the text box here. When I click on that, it's like going to a museum and you see a bunch of pictures up on the wall. That's a gallery of images, as well you can see here in the drop down for the text box, a gallery of built in items or text boxes, images like the simple text box, the Austin quote, and so on. And so when I click on the quick parts here, there's no gallery of images because, well, I haven't saved anything to it yet. So let me go ahead and click on Save Selection to Quick Parts Gallery. And OK, first off, the name. Well, that's pretty generic. Let's go ahead and type in a name for this building block. Oh, that's as far as I can go. So it only allows you so much room for your name. Lemon Essential Oils Product Web, I was going to type in website. And then the gallery. Now you can choose the Quick Parts Gallery, which is, well, what we just clicked on to save it. So it'll be listed there. And you can see all the different galleries you can include it in. The least of which is the one that we just clicked on to save it, which is the Quick Parts Gallery. And you can choose other galleries, like the one we just talked about, the text boxes. So if I save it there and I click on the text box drop down arrow, It'll be listed with all the other images there, or built-in text boxes, the gallery therein. Or you can choose others, like if you want to insert a table, and also include your quick part in the tables gallery, which is right up here. When you click on tables, well, it'll be there, but for me, in this example, it wouldn't make sense. So I'm going to leave it as, let me click off, the quick parts gallery, keep it simple. And then for the category, well, is it something general, or do you want to get specific? Ooh, let's do that. Let's create a new category. This is all about essential oils, because maybe I have additional essential oils like lavender, tea tree, or melaleuca, and so forth, and so I'm going to be creating a bunch of these, and I want to be able to tie them all to one category that makes sense, essential oils, so we'll do that. Click okie dokie, and then a description, if you'd like. Lemon essential oils, image, title, and URL. And then do I want to save it in the building blocks, which I recommend. 
well, when it comes to organizing the building blocks, that's where it's going to go unless you change it to be part of the normal document template, the global template, which I want to keep it simple. Let's go ahead and go with the default building blocks. And then as far as the options go, when you insert your building block, do you want to just insert the content that you have here or do you want to insert it into its own paragraph or its own page? Well, if I do its own page, then I lose the control over of inserting that, well, within a page that already has some text there. So we'll keep it simple, insert content only, and click okie dokie, and that's it. So when I want to go ahead and insert this, just come back up here, insert tab, text group, click on the quick parts, and oh my, look at that. And there you go, when you hover over it, you get the title and the description. And then, well, I don't want to click on it, because if I do, it'll overwrite or replace the selection here. So how about if we go ahead and create a new blank document? Because we know it's there within this document, so I can come down here and, of course, click on it to click on it to insert it. Scroll back up, and ooh, that's just fun. Let's go ahead and undo that. Go back, stage file, down to new, blank document. Well, of course, the codes are on. In any case, insert tab, text, gallery, quick parts, click. Oh, that's just great. Let's go ahead and go to the Home tab and turn off the codes. Close out of that and don't save. Now to make modifications to your building block, like if you want to update it, maybe you don't want to include the URL or you want to include something else, like we left out the paragraph above and the two below, go ahead and make your changes and then select what you'd like to include in the update and then come back up here on the Insert tab, go to the Text group and click on Quick Parts and then go ahead and click on Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. And you'll have to remember the name that you want to overwrite or replace it with to update that building block. And I remember it. It's that. And the gallery's Quick Parts. Now, if I choose another gallery, it won't overwrite what's in the Quick Parts gallery, but create or add what we have here and put it over into, well, another gallery. But let's go ahead and leave it as Quick Parts just for this example. And essential oils is a category, and then the description, well, we'll have to type it in again, but I won't do that. Let's just go ahead and click okie dokie, and it says, do you want to redefine the building block entry? In other words, overwrite it, update it with what you have here, and I'll say no. Now, if I go ahead and I choose another gallery, and I say not the quick parts, let me just go ahead and let's do the text boxes, or better yet, the tables. That's going to be kind of kooky. So when I click on tables, I'll have, well, my building block and the tables there, and the category. When you click on it, it doesn't have essential oils because that's proprietary to the gallery of Quick Parts. And so if I go back to Quick Parts, click on it. Because we created the category in that gallery, well, there it is. So if I go ahead and choose Tables, and I want to be able to have its own category within the tables or just appear as part of the built-in. So when you click on Tables, like any other gallery, if there's built-in, it will be a part of the built-in, unless you want to say, no, it's not built-in, it's my own. It's, well, let's go ahead and create a new category and call it my own spiffy category. And click okie dokie, type in the description. In any case, go ahead and click okie dokie, and then now we got two building blocks. We have one in the quick parts, it's still there. And then over here in the tables, click on table, and then go down to quick tables. And let's go ahead and scroll down until we can find it. Oh, there it is at the very bottom in its own spiffy category. Fabulous. You can also right-click on it to get additional options. And it's the same options whether it's in the Tables Gallery or let me come up here, click on Quick Parts and right-click. You see you get the same shortcut menu there. You can insert it at Current Document Position, insert it at Page Header, Footer. In any case, you get quite a few options there. And you can edit the properties. Now, we learned how to overwrite and replace it with whatever we selected here by saving the selection. What if you don't want to update it as far as that goes, but maybe you want to go ahead and edit the properties and say, okay, you're no longer going to be this name, or you want to change it from the Quick Parts Gallery. But then if I change it from the Quick Parts Gallery, like let's do text boxes, and okay, we'll leave it as built in, and click okie dokie. Do you want to redefine it? Yes. So is it up here in the Quick Parts Gallery? No, because we redefined it and said you should be in the text box. 
And well, there's the built in categories, so it will be here somewhere sorted alphabetically. There you go. And you can right click on that and you get the shortcut menu for the text boxes where you can insert at current document position, but well, not the same shortcut menu as we did when we right clicked on it in the tables gallery or in the quick parts gallery. But you can go back to edit the properties and well, make your changes, click cancel. Or you can go ahead and click on it again, scroll down, and if you're like, you know what, I don't want it at all, right click on it and go to Organize and Delete, and it opens up the Building Blocks Organizer. Now, if you're like, let me close out, I don't remember what gallery it's in, the text box, the table, I just want to clean things up. Well, instead of clicking on the text box and doing a search and destroy mission and trying to find it or the table, you can go ahead and in the text group, click on the quick parts and go down to the building blocks organizer it opens up the same window the only thing you have to do now instead of it being selected by default when you choose it from the actual well text box gallery or the table gallery because it'll be selected then you can go ahead and hit delete but because we came here without right clicking on that selection from one of those galleries we have to go ahead and do a search by well we can sort it by name if you know the gallery that it's in you can go ahead and search it that way and scroll down to find the text boxes. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and there we go. So the text boxes at the very bottom there. So in any case, once you have it there, you can go ahead and delete it or edit the properties. Now you can, you know, sort it by gallery if you remember the gallery, but maybe you're having problems with that, the category. Well, we have the category essential oils. So you can click on that to sort it alphabetically, ascending or descending. And then go ahead and scroll through that till you find it. Oh, well, I converted this one over to Spiffy, so there you go. I'm getting lost. The best for me is to go ahead and click sort by name. We can go ahead and click and drag until we can find the two lemon essential oils right there. One's the built-in category. That's right. Now my memory's kicking back in. We changed it to built-in and then that one's Spiffy. So well, you got a few options to go ahead and find it. If you don't want to go to the gallery itself and right click on it where it brings it right up and select it by default for you to just go ahead and click on delete. Yes. And then we've got the other one and we can go ahead and delete it with it selected right there or again close out. Text box. Click and drag. And right click there to organize and delete and automatically has it selected for you when you do it from the gallery as I mentioned and we can go ahead and insert it or delete it and it's gone close out text box sorted alphabetically because it's in the built-in category and after the I's there's no L's for lemon essential oil it's toast thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.